Okay, guys, so in juniors at higher level, there's two proofs, or two formal proofs that you need to know. Or sorry, there's five formal proofs that you need to know. And here's the five of them. Here, 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 and here. So the first one is that the three angles in a triangle add to 180. So we need to prove that. The second one, in a parallelogram, opposite sides and angles are equal. Three, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. That's basically a proof of Pythagoras' theorem. Four, the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the opposite two um, interior angles. And the fifth one, the angle at the centre of the circle is twice the angle on the circumference standing on the same um, angle. Okay, so here's proof one. The three angles in a triangle add to 180. And the way we do this is we, we write, well, in, in the leaving cert, they'll actually have a, they'll have it set up for you. So they'll have a space for you to draw this triangle. And then they will write given to prove construction. And lastly, they'll have proof. So they'll actually give you those headings. And you must write what I have in black. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is you'll draw a triangle, you'll label it A, B, and C. What do we want to prove? You write down that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. Construction. Okay, well what we're going to do is we're going to construct a line through A, sorry, through B, parallel to AC. So we're going to draw a line through B parallel to AC. So it's parallel to this line. And there's our line through B that's parallel. Okay, and I'm going to label these angles. I'm going to label this uh, maybe see D and E. Okay. Okay, so the proof. Well, I am going to say angle D plus angle B plus angle E equals 180 degrees. So this, this, and this is 180 degrees. And why is that 180 degrees? Well, because it's a straight line. And we know that the angles in, in a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay, I can also then say that angle D equals angle A. So I can say angle D here is angle A. And why is that? Because they're alternate angles. If you just look at this Z here. Okay, so remember the Z shows that this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, so I can explain why they're equal. That alternate angles. I can also say that angle E equals angle C. And again, if we look at it, there's the Z the other way. So this equals this. And just to explain again, because they're alternate angles. And then I can say, therefore, angle A plus angle C plus angle B equals 180 degrees. So there we go. So first one done. Okay, so second proof is in a parallelogram, opposite sides and opposite angles are equal. So I want to prove that this line equals this line, this line equals this line, this angle equals this angle, and this angle equals this angle. Okay, so again, what we do with this, oops, sorry, let's get rid of these. Okay, so again, we'd be 
given these headings, given, proof, construction, and proof. And we write down what are we given, the parallelogram A, B, C, and D, and we'll draw it. And what do we want to prove? Like I said, we want to prove that A, D equals B, C, that A, B equals D, C, that A, D, C, angle A, D, C equals angle A, B, C, and angles D, A, B equals angle D, C, B. For the construction, we are going to join A to C and label angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here's what we do. We're going to join A to C. And we're going to label our angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, now we're going to look for a proof. And what, what the idea is here is we want to show that this triangle here is congruent, which means the same as this triangle. Okay. Right, so how are we going to do that? Well, if you look over here, we know from Junior Sir that triangles are congruent if they have two sides that are the same and an angle. So remember the side, angle, side. Or if they have two angles that are the same and one side. So side, angle, side. Or if they have three sides that are the same. For the purpose of this proof, we're going to be looking for two angles that are the same and two sides. If we can get two angles that are the same and two sides that are the same, we can prove that both triangles are congruent. If both triangles are congruent, and they must have, they must be the same, and therefore they must have the same sides and the same angles. Okay, so here we go. So we are going to consider triangle ADC and triangle ABC. And I will say that angle 1 equals angle 4, and angle 2 equals angle 3. So what am I saying there? That this angle equals this angle, and this angle equals this angle. Why is that? Well, because this line is parallel to this line, and the green line is a transversal. So we would have learned that um, the alternate angles are the same. And that's what I'm going to say here. I say, why are they the same? Because they are alternate angles. I'm also going to say that the line, going black actually, I'm going to say the line AC, which is the green line, equals the line AC. So basically the line AC in triangle ADC and the line AC in the triangle ABC are the same. And why is that? Well, because they're the same line. It's a common line. Common side. So, I'm after proving then that they have one side that's the same. So one side. And two angles are the same. There's one, and there's two. So I can say, therefore, triangle ADC and triangle ABC are congruent. They're the same. And based on them being the same, then I can say, that side AD equals side BC. I can also say side or line DC equals side AB. So the two sides are the same as each other. I can say that angle 
and a d c equals anger a b c and anger d a b equals anger d c b okay so there's the proof okay the next proof then is basically proven Pythagoras's theorem um, in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the other two sides so here's our right angle so here's the hypotenuse and the other two sides are here and here okay so what are we given well we're given triangle a b c and it's right angle what we want to prove well, we want to prove that the line AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. Construction. Well, what I do is I will draw perpendicular perpendicular line to AC from B. So I'll draw a line straight down there. Okay, actually just for just to make things a little bit easier. Not that it makes much difference, but I'll call this A up here. And I'll call this B. Alright. So we'll draw a line perpendicular from to BC. Um, right, I'm going to call this point here D. I'm going to get rid of the H, O, and A. I'm going to call this angle 1, this angle 2, this angle 3, and this angle 4. Right. And in my proof, here's what I want to do. I want to take the whole triangle. And I want to show then that the whole triangle and the triangle on the left are similar triangles. What I mean by similar is that all the three angles are the same. Okay? They may not necessarily be the same size triangle, but that one might be a miniature version of the other. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do the same with the with the whole triangle and the triangle on the right. And I'm going to use the properties of similar triangles to basically prove that um, prove Pythagoras' theorem. Right, so here we go. First of all, I'm going to take the big triangle. Here it is. Um, that's A, B, C, um, there's D, lines 1, um, we'll leave out the 2, 3, there's 4. Now I'm going to take the smaller triangle. And that's a right angle there, it's the right angle here by the way. That's 1, that's B, D, A, and that's 2. Okay, so I want to prove that these are similar. Right, well, let's go. If I can prove that the three angles are the same size, then they're similar. Right, well, I can say that angle B, A, C, which is this angle, equals angle B, D, A, which is this angle. And why are they the same? because they're both 90 degrees are right angles. So there's one angle the same. I can also say that angle A, B, C, which is this, which is this, equals angle A, B, T, which is this. Okay, 
properties. So now we're going to use the properties of similar triangles um, to, I suppose, aid us, right? So here's what we'll do. We're going to take the hypotenuse for each um, triangle, and we're going to put the big one over the small one. So the hypotenuse for this triangle is here, and the hypotenuse for this triangle is here. So what I'm going to say is BC over BA, okay, so line BC over line BA equals, and now I'm going to take two corresponding sides. So if I take the right angle to 1 here, so the right angle to 1 is here, so that is AB and the big triangle. Now let's look for the corresponding side here, the right angle to 1 there, so it's BD. So AB over BD. So what I'm saying is the ratio between line BC over to add it to BA is the same as the ratio of the line AB is to BD. Okay, now I'm going to get the common denominator. The common denominator of all this is both of these multiplied together. Just some basic algebra. So I am going to multiply both sides by BA multiplied by BD. Okay, I'm getting that from both of these. So I'm going to do that to both sides. So multiply by BA multiplied by BD. Right, let's do that. Well, BC divided by BA multiplied by this. Well, if you look at the BA here and the BA here, we'll cancel. So I'll be left with BD multiplied by BC. So I'll have BD multiplied by BC. And likewise over here, the BDs will cancel, and I'll be left with AB multiplied by BA. Okay, now have a look here, A, B, and B, A. Well, B, A and A, B are the same. So I'm just going to change the way I write this. Instead of saying B, A, I'm going to say A, B. Right, so I have B, D multiplied by B, C equals A, B multiplied by A, B is A, B squared. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, happy with having that equation. I'm going to do it again. But this time I'm going to take the big triangle and I'm going to show that the big triangle and the triangle on the right are similar. So we do the exact same as what we did. We'll draw out the triangles again. So first of all the main triangle, the big one, A, B, C and D was here. And then the other triangle, and that was A, that was C, that was D. Okay, and if we just label the sides, so it's 1, so here's the right angle, here's the right angle here, this was 1, this was 4, this was 4, and up here is um, 3. Okay, so again, Let's see if we can um, make sure that the three angles are the same as each other. Well, first of all, anyway, angle BAC equals angle angle um, ADC. So this angle equals this angle. And that's obvious because they're both right angles. So 90 degrees. Okay, um, we can also say angle um, ACB equals angle ACD. So that's this angle and this angle are the same. And why are they the same? Because they're the common angle. And lastly, we can say that um, angle ABC equals angle DAC. And why is that? Because three angles of a triangle 
add to 180 degrees. Okay, as I said before, it's actually these two angles, but as I said before, if two angles are the same as each other, well then the three angles have to be the same as each other, because both triangles have to add to 180. Right. So now I'm going to use my knowledge of um, congruent or similar triangles. So I'm going to take the hypotenuse on each side. So here's the hypotenuse and this one. So that's um, line BC. And the hypotenuse on this side is here. So that is AC. So BC or AC. And now I'm going to choose another side on this. And I'll choose 4 to the right angle. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one. So that's AC. So equals line AC. And the corresponding angle here then would be the right angle to C, which is DC. Okay, DC, DC. CC. And like the other one, I'm going to find the common denominator, which is the two bottom multiplied by each other. So AC, DC, and AC, DC. Right. The, sorry. No, the, the ACs will cancel. On this side, the DCs will cancel. So I'll be left with DC multiplied by BC equals AC multiplied by AC. And that will give me DC multiplied by BC equals, and there's two ACs multiplied together, so it's AC squared. Okay, so I have this, and likewise I have this. Take the two of them, put one over the other, and we'll do it over here. So we have line BD multiplied by BC equals line A B squared. And this one then will go underneath and it is um, DC multiplied by BC equals AC squared. Right, if we add them. Well, on this side we'll have AB squared um, plus AC squared. And on this side we will have BD multiplied by BC plus DC multiplied by BC. And they equal each other. Um, notice here we have two BCs. So I have two BCs. So if this BC is multiplying the BD. So this BC is multiplying the BD. This BC is multiplying the DC. That means I can factorize it out. So I say BC multiplied by first well, this BD plus this DC. So I'm just have to factorize it out the BCs. And that equals AB squared plus AC squared. Okay, I just want you to draw your attention to this. BD plus DC. Let's have a look at that original triangle again. And remember that. BD, DC. BD, DC. Well, here it is. There's the BD. There's the DC. If I add BD and DC, which is actually what they're doing down here, look, they're adding BD plus DC. It's actually the same as the line BC. So I'm going to substitute this BD plus DC with BC. So what I'm left with is this original BC multiplied by this substituted BC and that equals 
AB squared plus AC squared. And BC multiplied by BC is BC squared, which equals AB squared plus AC squared. Now I think we're not for doing it, because if you look at this, BC squared equals AB squared equals AC squared. And if you look up here, what do we want to prove? We want to prove that exactly. So we've done it. Okay. Okay, so proof four. Um, this is a nice one. Um, to prove the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the opposite interior angles. So we want to prove that this angle here, four, equals this angle plus this angle. Right, here's what we do. Um, very quick, very easy, and very nice. So what we're given is triangle ABC and the angles one, two, three, and four. So you're going to have to draw this triangle and label the angles um, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we want to prove that angle 4 is equal to angles 1 plus 2. There's no construction needed for this one. Okay, there's nothing extra we have to do. So here's the proof. Well, I can say that angle 4 plus angle 3 equals 180. So angle 4 and angle 3, so this here. Okay. Um, so that equals 180, and why is that? Because it's a straight line. I can also say angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Because we are after proving this already, that's the angles in a triangle. Okay, so let me think. If 4 plus 3 is 180, and 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 180, that must mean 4 plus 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, because both of them equal 180. So I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to say angle 4 plus angle 3 equals angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. And now what I can say is, well, there's angle 3 on both sides, or I suppose if it was to use proper algebra terms, I minus angle 3 from both sides. And I'm left with angle 4 equals angle 1 plus angle 2. And that's exactly what I wanted to prove this here. Okay. Okay, so last proof, thank God. The angle at the centre of the circle is twice the size of the angle on the circumference standing on the same arc. So the first thing we do is we will draw a circle. Okay. And in that circle, I'm going to label the centre O. And then I'm going to draw an arc. I'll just draw the arc shaded in here. Okay. And I'm going to label these sides A and B. And I'm going to join these sides to O. And then I'm going to choose anywhere on this arc around here. So anywhere around there I will choose any point at all. And we'll go here. So there we go. And we label that point C. And I'll join these to A and B. And what I want to prove is that this angle here, if we compare these two angles, that this angle here is twice the size of this angle here. Right. So how do we do that? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to construct a line where we join, join C and O. But we're going to continue our line a small bit. Okay. And well, maybe not that far. We continue to here. I probably should have made this circle a bit bigger. We call this D. And now I'm going to say that this angle here is, I'll call it 1. This is 2. This is 3, 
and this is 4. Right, now I want to prove that triangle black pen. I want to prove that triangle A O C is isosceles. Okay. Right. So let's prove that there is an isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal. So to prove that I will say line AO and sorry line AO equals line CO. And why is that? Because they're both radius. So this line here is the same as this line here because they're both radius. Okay. And next I want to prove that triangle um, O B O C B O C is isosceles, and likewise um, line B O equals line C O. And why is that? Because again, they are radiuses. Okay, I actually forgot to put in here. I'm going to call this angle 5 and this angle 6. Okay, so I'm after proving that these two triangles are um, isosceles. Right, I can therefore say, right, so if these two triangles are isosceles, well I can say with, with triangle OAC that angle, right, that angle 5 equals angle 3. And likewise over with BOC, I can say angle 4 equals angle 6. I can also then say on this one that angle 1, which is here, equals angle 3 plus angle 5, which is here and here. And why is that? Well, because we're after proving it already that... External angle of a triangle equals the sum of opposite internal angles. Okay, so basically, one equals angle one equals three and five. And likewise over here, okay, I know now this is, um, you know, I'm kind of putting it here, I'll write it here, I suppose. I can say angle, angle 2, which is here, equals angle 4 plus angle 6. So these two, okay? And why is that? Uh, again, I'll just do that. Okay, that's just to show that it's it's the same as external angle of triangle equals the sum of the opposite internal angles. Okay, so these two things interest me. All right. So let's um, focus on this first. Angle one equals angle three plus angle five. But we know already from up here that angle 3 is the same as angle 5. So instead of me saying angle 1 equals angle 3 plus angle 5, I'm going to say angle 1 equals angle 3 plus angle 3. I'll do the same over here. I'll say angle 2 equals angle 4 plus angle 4. Because I know up from up here, angle 4 equals angle 6. So instead of saying angle 4 and angle 6, I'll just say angle 4 and angle 4. So these interest me now. Um, angle 1 equals angle 3 plus angle 3, and angle 2 equals angle 4 plus angle 4. Right, I'm going to write both of those over each other. So angle 1 
equals angle 3 plus angle 3 and angle 2 equals angle 4 plus angle 4 and I'm going to add them so I have angle 1 plus angle 2 equals angle 3 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 4 Alright, and that would be angle 1 plus angle 2 equals, really what it is, is twice angle 3 plus twice angle 4. Now can I factorise out the 2? Angle 1 plus angle 2 equals twice angle 3 plus angle 4. Okay, interesting. So what I'm saying is angle 1 and angle 2 equals twice angle 3 and angle 4. Now have a look up here. Angle 1, angle 2 is there and that equals twice angle 3 and angle 4. So I might have to prove that this angle here is twice as big as this angle here. I sure am. So the very last thing I can say therefore angle um, it was AOB, wasn't it? AOB, let's just check. So AOB, yep, equals twice angle ACB, which is this. Maybe that was AOB. A, C, B. So there's our proof. Okay, done. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, requires a bit of learning, requires a bit of practice. Um, however, there's a very, very, very like, huge chance that that's coming up. Okay, one. So make sure you bag, get the marks in the bag. Okay, thanks.